Hey guys, it's Lainey. As you guys may know, I have been currently on a book buying ban for over a month now. I just haven't bought books. But there were exceptions to the rules. People could buy books for me. My parents visited me a couple few weekends ago. We went to the mall and of course I dragged them into Barnes & Noble, which was an experience because they followed me and it was sometimes kind of weird as like my stepdad kept like pointing out different books on like the YA shelves. What's this book about? So he pointed to <laughs> Unravel Me and Ignite Me and he like, have you read these books? Yes, Chip. Yes, I have read those books. It was a lot of fun. Most of the books they did point out, I have read. The three books that I got from Barnes & Noble from my parents were Invisible Monsters by Chuck Palnuck. You may have seen me talk about this book on Twitter and on Instagram. And if you're not following me, on those, you should. This was the first book I walked over to the, you know, adult fiction section and I got this one right away. I've been wanting to read um, another Chuck Palahniuk book because I absolutely adored Fight Club. This was the one I planned on getting next, Invisible Monsters. There is an Invisible Monsters remix, which I'll put a picture of it right here real quick. It looks really cool. I think I want to get it after I finish reading this one. And it's apparently like the director's cut version of the first one. I'm almost about halfway through it. I kind of been in a reading slump the past like week and a half because school has gotten really really stressful for me. I've been kind of wanting to shoot school in the face if it had one. I plan on finishing this during my spring break. As you can see, great lines. Great lines in this book. The next book I picked up in the YA section was Landry Park, which also looks like Laundry Park. I've seen other booktubers have this book in some of their hauls. It looks cool. It is a new release, which was kind of like my game plan when I went into Barnes & Noble. I wanted to get some new release books. Apparently people say it's kind of like Downton Abbey. I haven't read, seen that show at all, but uh, it's also kind of like a dystopian class system kind of deal, which is something I like to read about. So got Landry Park. Those were the two books that I planned on getting until I saw this book. It was a complete cover buy, but then I read the summary and I thought, yes, I do need to get this. Minders by Michelle Jaff or Jaffe. Either one. Seriously, this cover, I was sold. I was sold. Looks like we got a ginger heroine. Bonus points. Basically, it seems like it's a futuristic kind of teenage FBI where this girl here, Sadie, uh, is able to get into the minds of others. So she gets into this guy's mind, Ford, for reasons I forget why. Just to study him or something, I don't know. As she is in the mind of him and he's kind of criminal-like, she kind of falls in love with him. That sounds really interesting. I really can't wait to read this. I've seen some other booktubers have it. I know Jillian has it. Actually, that's all I've seen people of who've had it. So then last weekend my parents had to come down to they had to get their car fixed because my stepdad just bought a car down here once when we had to get rid of mine and back in december they just went back to the dealership to get it, try to get it figured out so that was a perfect opportunity to go with them they got me some groceries because they didn't have time to take me to barnes and noble instead they decided to buy me some amazon gift cards so i had fifty dollars to spend i bought five more books. The first one I added to my cart right away was Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Maas. This is the second book in the Throne of Glass series. I really really liked it, though I did have some problems with it. Everybody says the second one is so much better. The storyline goes in a completely different direction, which I'm excited about because the storyline plot in the first one didn't amaze me. People that I did the live show with, we like are kind of maybe planning to do just another live show, not exactly a read-along, but a live show of this book just to see how our feelings have changed from the first book to now the second book. So I'm really excited about that. I hope we do do that. I know we kind of just briefly mentioned it on Twitter. So then the next book I got was also a new release in February. I can't even explain it because every time I read the summary it confuses me even though I still got it. White Space by Ilsa J. Bick. I didn't realize how big this was when I bought it. It's like... 500 pages, just kidding, 550 pages. On the summary on Amazon, it said it's kind of Inception-like. This cover is really cool. It's like a combination of birds. And I think it's kind of like supposed to be kind of like a horror story for YA. There are people with strange abilities and dark 
darkness and stuff and uh, yeah, this one, I don't know, I just sounded really interesting even though I can't comprehend the summary. Then the next book I got, which is a book I've been wanting for a while, it's also a new release from I think January, and that is Avalon by Mindy Arnett. I've actually already started reading this. I'm in love. I'm like truly in love with this book already. But as you guys know, I absolutely love the Fast and Furious franchise, and this is pretty much Fast and Furious told in space. So I'm pretty much in love with it already. I'm about 60 pages in. I had to stop reading it because of this past week. It's told in a male protagonist point of view, which I'm really excited about. This is a side note, but go look up this book on Amazon and people say it's for fans of Josh Whedon. Josh. That's not his name. Someone on Amazon needs to change that to Joss. But it's for fans of Firefly, which is like pretty much the only Joss Whedon show I haven't watched. You know, if you like Fast and Furious, this is pretty much in space. It's about kids, teenagers who steal kind of like spaceships and the meta, meta drives, which is like a lucrative type of technology that is used in space. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I really, really like it so far. The next book I got, because so much hype, so much hype in this book before it even was released, and that is Half Bad by Sally Green. Sally Green. Jack Eats Books and Sharon from Cozy Tea Reads are going to do a read-along for this book starting March 22nd. Now that I have the book, I'm going to participate in it. Can't wait for that. I'm really excited to read this with a bunch of people. And the last book I got was something that was on my wish list for a while, so I just thought I'm going to get a book for my wish list that I haven't put up recently. So that book is Dark Star by Bethany Frenette. It's kind of a superhero story where this girl's mother is a superhero in Minneapolis, which sounds really interesting. The story is kind of a really cool kind of take on superheroes. So these are the books I bought with my parents' money. I'm so excited and um, I this will keep me entertained for a while. I'm still planning on not buying any books for myself until at least May. I don't have that many pre-orders pre-ordered. Um, I'm just trying to focus on saving money for BEA, so that's why I'm not going to get any more books. That is my book haul for you guys. Hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys later. Bye!